Hey, this is Santosh. Uh, today I'd like to share the basic example of Joule transformation. So before starting this uh, video, just I want to brief about the Jolt. So what is exactly Jolt? So Jolt uh, is an open source JSON to JSON transformation library that is written in Java. It allows a developer to convert one JSON structure to another JSON structure. So suppose we receiving the data from the source in different format and your target machine is accepting that data in different format. So in these types of situation, we can easily map the data using Jolt. Accepting different types of specifications. So uh, first one is uh, we can say that shift. So shift is used to copy the data from the input to the output tree. And the second one is default. So default is used to apply the default value to the tree and remove remove is used to remove the data from the tree and sort sort is also used to map the key value alphabetically and cardinality so it is used to adjust the cardinality of the input data so then let us start about the example suppose uh, here we can see that uh, this is the input json we receiving this data from the source right so here we can see that we have orders key inside the order we can see uh, order id transaction id and transaction date and also two item we can see that in the item sections so one is item id 1001 and the base price is 1000 and net price is 700 and discount price is 300 and second item id is 1002 and base price is uh, 1200 and net price is 100 sorry 1000 and discount price is 200 so uh, so this is the input we receiving this data from the source but our target machine is expecting that data in this format we can see uh, order id we achieve easily uh, transaction id is also same uh, transaction date is also same but these three total base price total net price and total discount amount we need to calculate from these items we have to consolidate the net price base price net price and discount price okay from here so let's write, write the specification how we can achieve okay yeah so first of all uh, let me try the specification Okay, so let's this is syntax operation. So first we are using to shift. Okay. So And then we have to specify the key name. Let the key name is orders. So inside the order, so we can pass these uh, three element as it is. We no need to do anything. Okay. Order ID, transaction ID, and uh, transaction date. okay let's try to transform yeah it's cool now we can see that uh, uh, this is the order id this and this transaction id and uh, this is transaction date so now this is okay but how we can achieve this consolidation of uh, all the item and number of items suppose we have so first we are trying to move the all the element all the uh, items i uh, base price net price and discount price in a single array so let's do that so first we have to specify the, again this uh, items because all items are inside this key okay so this is a multi-dimensional object or array we can say that so we can iterate using a strict here okay and now 
we have to check if this is this key is exist then we can assign this key in another variables uh, base price okay second one is net price so this is net price again we are assigning this net price to another variables actually we are pushing all the elements all the elements value in a single array here in this array name all this array. Our third one is discount price and yeah it's fine let's try to do another transform here yeah so now we can see that inside base price array uh, two elements is there right two values there sorry one is for item one base price is 1000 another for item two this is this price for 1200 Similarly, net price we can see that one for item one seven hundred and for item two one thousand and for discount amount for item one for three hundred and item two for two hundred. Okay. Now, how we can calculate the sum of this array? Okay, because we need sum of the <coughs> all elements inside the array. Okay. So let's try to do another specification for modification. another operation modify overwrite beta and then specifications okay so now uh, our output is this so now we are working on this so here we have to we can use another variable like exact output variable name is total uh, base price okay and we can use here to calculate the sum of array element uh, one method is there like uh, equal to uh, double sum and then at the rate and then again this bracket and now we have to specify the position of this variable name so position this variable name means uh, this position actually so now this is in single position we can see that so we can use one here and then this variable name so now because now working on this because using uh, this specification we achieve this so now we are applying another operation here on that okay so let's uh, try to do another uh, transform let's try yeah we can see that total base price is now it's calculated here so here we can see that 1000 and 1200 and the calculated the amount is 2200 that's fine so similarly we have to use here for another two items sorry another two price so one for this uh, so sorry so another name is net price so we can use here net price net price and then discount price we can use here discount price and then discount price now we can see that we are able to calculate the sum of all the items base price net price and discount price here okay yeah that's fine now question is uh, we are achieved the target but uh, three uh, unnecessary variable are there right so how we can remove the chart so let's try to do another operation to remove operation we can use remove operation here specifications 
and simply we have to assign this variable to null it will be removed okay to another blank yes now let's try yeah it's cool we can see that now we achieve the exact target okay we are able to convert this input as per expected output so order id we have transaction id we have transaction date we have and total base price this is the consolidated price for all items so now we have two items so it's for consolidated price for two items is 2200 and for consolidated net price for two items is uh, 7 and 8 and uh, 1000 is 1700 and discount price total discount price for these two items 500 okay so now using salt you can see that is so how we can achieve very easily guys right so hope you enjoying this video and Thank you for watching.